What's up guys, Justin here with a pickup video for you guys today. I got some stuff from the garage sales and some stuff from the Goodwill in this video. It really was not a very good weekend at the garage sales, but it was completely made up for by an absolutely amazing uh, Super Nintendo haul from the Goodwill. So I'm gonna get into what we did pick up at the garage sales this last weekend. Uh, Friday morning was an absolute disaster. Um, to start things off, uh, the night before, when I hopped on the computer to make our garage sale route for the next morning, uh, the website that I use, our local newspaper's website, was down. It just it wasn't working, so I told myself, you know, I guess I got to set my alarm for a half hour earlier, you know, tomorrow morning and make our route in the morning. My alarm didn't even go off. Um, I woke up at like 7:30 from a call from my cousin. Um, asking, you know, where the hell I was. I was supposed to pick them up. Uh, so I hopped on the computer real quick and the website was still down. So we had absolutely no idea where we were going. Uh, we decided we were just going to drive, you know, up and down the main streets in our town and look for some signs. And we actually ended up stopping at a gas station and for 75 cents picked up a copy of the previous day's newspaper uh, just so we could look at the classified ads and, you know, at least have an idea where one or two of the sales were. And we didn't end up finding any uh, games or systems on that Friday morning, but at one of the uh, last sales we stopped at, did find a few things that are video game related and I thought were pretty cool. So I'll start out with uh, Resident Evil 2 Platinum. I believe this is the soundtrack for Resident Evil 2. And uh, just like the game, it's kind of like a dual disc kind of thing. That was in pretty nice shape, so I grabbed that. Uh, they also had uh, Final Fantasy VII Advent Children, a okay, two disc special edition uh, DVD. And honestly, I'm not 100% sure what this even is, <laughs> but I mean, it was Final Fantasy and it looked, you know, looked pretty cool, so I decided to go ahead and uh, pick that up. Uh, but the coolest thing that we got on that morning was uh, the complete animated series of The Legend of Zelda. And it's like a DVD set, I believe, and it's still brand new. Um, never been opened, factory sealed. And I, I really didn't know what this was when I first saw it, so I got to, you know, reading to the back, uh, reading at the back of it, and it seems pretty cool. Um, it talks about how this debuted in 1989 uh, with the Super Mario Bros. Super Show, and how this was originally aired in conjunction with uh, the release of the first Zelda game on the NES. And plus, it's got some cool special features and stuff like a Zelda trivia quiz and whatnot. And you know, I'm probably not going to open this uh, to, you know, watch it or take advantage of any of the special features or anything. But I just thought this was really cool to get. It was marked for five dollars, um, and I ended up getting this. And these were two dollars a piece, I think, and I picked up some music CDs as well. Uh, it total ended up being eleven or twelve dollars, and I got everything for ten bucks. So at least we didn't walk away from the garage sales empty-handed on that Friday. Uh, but moving on to Saturday. Now, uh, Saturday was a little bit better of a morning, not great. Uh, the website was actually working, so we actually you know, had a route and knew we were, where we were going. Uh, we walked up to one sale. They had a PlayStation 1 system. Um, it, was, it was a complete system. I think it probably had two controllers and the, the cords and stuff, but they're asking 20 bucks for it. So I passed on that. Uh, sitting next to it was a stack of $1 you know, PS1 sports games that I passed on as well. But I asked if they had any more video game stuff, and they told me that they actually had a PS2 for sale as well. And I ended up picking this up from them for $20. Uh, PS2 Slim. It's got a third-party memory card in it, and I didn't actually check if it has a game in it. Oh, it does. Uh, we got Ford Mustang, The Legend Lives, in the system. So, a little bonus there. Um, it came with two controllers. We got one first-party one here, a third-party controller. Actually had a multi-tab with it as well. And then uh, both the, the cords here. I think the AV cord, yeah, it's got a bunch of like electrical tape on it and stuff, but I mean, I've got, it's not a big deal, I've got an extra cord I can pair with it. So 20 bucks for that. Um, I, I think they did have some PS2 games as well, but they're asking, you know, 3 or $5 a piece for them, and they just, they were nothing worth picking up. Uh, so we walked up to another sale, and they had a stack of games, a small stack of games. I can't remember if it was PS2 or Xbox. Um, regardless, it was nothing worth picking up. But I asked if they had any more game stuff, and I looked in their garage, and I saw this box... And they were telling me about how they had the system um, for the box and everything, and, and they, they couldn't find it. And, I mean, they looked for all of 30 seconds before they, you know, told me that they didn't have it, um, that someone stole it, apparently. I don't know. But I asked if they would just sell me the box. It was full of, like, they had it full of, like, McDonald's toys and stuff. And the lady just dumped out the toys and said I could have it for free. So I wasn't going to complain with that. I mean, it's in pretty nice shape, too. So no complaints there. And, see, I believe that was all we found at the garage sales on Saturday. So, I mean, a little bit better of a morning um, due to the, the PS2, but still not a great morning by any means. But, like I said, um, the Goodwill definitely saved us. So I'm going to move on now to the, the Goodwill pickups. Um, this first one here, actually, I think I picked up a few weeks ago now. It, it was from the Goodwill, and it was on a garage sale morning, but it just never made it into a video. And I definitely wanted to show it. I thought it was pretty cool. It's a uh, storage case for PlayStation games. And this was $1.99. Um, it kind of just slides out here. And I don't really know how functional this is going to be. 
uh, because I did, I'll probably show you guys, I put like a disc in here and I mean they don't really sit in there that well, you know, it's kind of just like leaning back and like, <laughs> maybe if I get like a full row of them they'll sit better in there and I just, I, I don't really understand the purpose of this in the first place because you know, I have a bunch of these for my N64 systems, these game holders and stuff, and, and that's a different thing because, you know, unless your N64 games are boxed, there's really no good way to display them on a shelf or anything, just the cartridges, so they don't even have end labels or anything, but at least with uh, the PS1 games and stuff, you have the spine where you can read the title of the game. Uh, but what I think I'm going to do with this is I have a large flat rate box um, just full of uh, PS1 games that need case replacements. I really only put the games that have good condition cases up on my shelf, so I have just a huge box of them that need replaced cases. So I think I might just throw them in this for now until I can find uh, some replacement cases for them. But yeah, $1.99 for that. Uh, moving on though to the Super Nintendo haul. Now I did I had posted about this on our Facebook. Um, we walked into the, the Goodwill, walked back to the electronics section, and I saw this Super Nintendo sitting there. And it came with, well, all this is <laughs> rubber banded together, but we got um, the RF cord in here, got the original power adapter, and then two of these um, Interact Super Pad controllers. And I've actually had some luck with these Super Pads before. This is actually one of the controllers I had when I was younger, and I played my Super Nintendo. Um, so I have a little more faith in these ones <laughs> than other third party controllers. But I looked at the price tag. $39.99 and I was just, you know, I was like, great, I'm not going to pay 40 bucks for a Super Nintendo from Goodwill. But then I saw this little note that was taped to the top of it and it says console comes with two controllers, power cord, you know, AV cord, um, which obviously was all there, and 14 games. And it says bring console to register to receive the games. And so it has a list of the games on here. I started reading them. I was, you know, NFL Quarterback Club, Goal, Jurassic Park, Dennis the Menace, Pac-Man, Toy Story. And I was like, okay, well, even, you know, still even for $40, it's still not that great of a deal. And then I hit the good games. Um, one of the games that was included with this alone is worth almost double what I paid for everything. So I brought that up to <laughs> the register, and the, the lady was like, yep, got the games. And they're actually in the glass case right in front. I don't know how I didn't see them when we walked in there. But, um, yeah. I'll start going through these games. We got two copies of Toy Story. We got Dennis the Menace. NFL Quarterback Club 96. Uh, Jurassic Park Part 2, The Chaos Continues. Uh, Tony Miola's Sidekick Soccer. Uh, Rap Jam Volume 1. I remember I bought this game from our local family video back when they were uh, liquidating their Super Nintendo games. I think I paid five dollars for it, quite possibly one of the worst five dollars I've ever spent in my life. Um, this game is pretty brutal. We got uh, Pac-Man 2 The New Adventures, Goal, and then we get to um, the better games. Uh, we got Super Mario World, uh, Super Mario All-Stars. Super Mario Kart. I believe that was all for the Mario games, but we also got uh, Kirby Superstar. And then here is um, by far the best game in this lot. You know, when I saw it, when I saw this game listed on this note, I just, I honestly couldn't believe it. Uh, it is Mega Man X2. And this game is in really, really nice shape. Um, I was worried that it was going to be, you know, beat up and stuff, but it's in really nice shape. Definitely one of the better condition games in this box. Both the front and the back look very nice. And like I said, this game alone is worth almost twice what I paid for everything. So, uh, well, also, we got a precautions booklet in the bottom of that box. But yeah, uh, $40 for all that. Um, definitely saved the uh, the garage selling morning, you know, frustrating weekend at the garage sales in general, um, completely made up for by this Super Nintendo haul. So now I was kind of excited to go back the next morning, uh, Sunday morning before I went into work, just, you know, to see if they had any more stuff, see if anything got brought in with the Super Nintendo lot. And uh, they had some more stuff. Uh, right when I walked in there, I saw in the glass case, they had a Sega Master System in there. Now the console itself is a little bit beat up. Um, you can see where they use like a cheap sticker or whatever that was. It's kind of peeling up on the front of it there. But I, I did test this. I had a little bit of trouble getting it to work at first um, with this RF cord. I don't, I don't think this RF cord works, but I was able to get the system to work um, with a different RF cord that I had. Uh, here's the power adapter for it here, original power adapter. And it came with uh, two original controllers. Now, 
the system was marked for $25.99, which I thought was kind of an odd price. Like, why not just see, you know, even you know, $24.99 or whatever? But uh, sitting next to it was a stack of, sack of loose cartridge games. I think there's five of them. And I just kind of assumed they came with the system, you know, seeing as the Super Nintendo games the day before came with the system. Um, but I asked the, uh, uh, there's a new girl, actually, a new girl that was working there. And um, she seemed pretty cool. I got to talking to her. She's helping me out with the uh, getting stuff out of the case and stuff. So, you know, play my cards right. We could have a new Goodwill girl in the near future. Uh, the original Goodwill girl is actually on maternity leave, I believe, <laughs> at the moment. So, you know, you got to do what you got to do. You got to, you know, maybe play your, play the field a little bit. But uh, anyway, <laughs> the stack was sitting next to it. This stack of games had another $9.99 price tag on it, though. Um, and you know, I was a little—it was a little more than I wanted to pay for everything, um, seeing as they're all loose cartridge and stuff. But I wasn't gonna just buy the system and, and leave the games there. I mean, a stack of five games, uh, you know, two bucks a piece. I had never heard of some of these before. I decided to take a shot on them. We got uh, Alien Syndrome, uh, Shinobi, Time Soldiers, uh, Ghostbusters, and finally we got Bomber Raid. Yeah, as you can see, um, they were all rubber banded together for $9.99 there. So, I mean, with the system and the games, after tax, it ended up being like, you know, $37, $38, which, again, a little more than I wanted to pay for everything, but, you know, I got to talk into that new girl and stuff, and she seemed pretty cool. So, anyway, I believe that was all I had to show uh, for this video. Again, not the greatest weekend at the garage sales by any means, but uh, completely made up for at the Goodwill. So, I want to thank you guys for sticking around and checking out the video, and until next time, take care.